Number 28, two beetles run across flat sand, starting at the same point. Beetle 1 runs 0.5 meters due east, then 0.8 meters at 30 degrees north of due east. Beetle 2 also makes two runs. The first is 1.6 meters at 40 degrees east of due north. What must be letter A the magnitude and letter B the direction of its second run if it is to end up at the new location of beetle 1. So let us first draw our coordinate system here because it's easier to see what's happening. So let's suppose this is our x direction, this is our y direction. I'm going to say that this points to east and this points to north. So let's start with beetle number 1. Let's suppose it is this red dot over here. So the first movement it's 0.5 meters due east. So it is something like this. I'm going to call this vector A. The second movement of the first beetle is 0.8 meters at 30 degrees north of due east. So it is something like this. So this is vector B and vector B makes 30 degrees with uh, the positive x direction. So this is the movement of the beetle number one. Beetle number two also makes two runs. The first is 1.6 at 40 degrees east of the north. So the first movement of uh, beetle number two is something like this. And I'm going to call this vector C and this angle over here is 40 degrees. So this is what we know, and we don't know the vector. So we want to find a vector the, for the second movement of beetle number, number two, so that beetle number two ends at the same point as beetle number one. So we have to find this vector over here, which we are going to call it v uh, vector D. So this is the situation that we have over here. And we have to find the magnitude and the direction of this orange vector that we called vector D. So, so our strategy here is to write vector A, B, and C in unit vector notation and then find vector D because we can notice that vector A plus vector B must be equal to vector C plus vector D. So if we want to find vector D, we just have to isolate it. So vector D must be equal to vector A plus vector B minus vector C. So if we can write vector A, B, and C in unit vector notation, we can find vector D. So that's our strategy for this problem. So vector A is really simple to find. <coughs> vector A is simply 0 0.5 in the i direction. 0 0.5 in the i direction. Don't forget to include the unit, which is meters. For vector B, we have to make a decomposition of the vector. So we have to find the x component, let's call it Bx, and the y component, By. So vector B is equal to the x component, which is, let's call it bx in the i direction plus by in the j direction, and this is equal to the magnitude of the vector times the cosine of the angle, which is 30 degrees in the i direction, plus the magnitude of the vector times the sine of the angle in the j direction, and this is equal to 0 point 69 in the i direction plus 0 0.4 in the j direction and everything is in meters so we we already have vector a and vector b for vector c we have to decompose the vector as well however we are going to use this angle over here instead of 40 we are going to use this which is 50 degrees because it's easier to find the components we could use this angle over here, however, you would have to choose the, 
the direction of the, the, the signs of the vectors well let's just use the angle that uh, that makes with the, the positive x direction the vector and the positive x direction that's the angle that we are going to use so we can use the same thing as in here if you use this angle over here the x the y component would be the cosine and the x component would be uh, the sign of the angle the opposite of this but it would work anyway but let us make what is easier for us right so vector c vector c is equal to the x component of vector c plus the y component of vector c which is equal to the magnitude of the vector times the cosine of the angle which is 50 degrees in the i direction plus the magnitude of the vector times the sine of 50 degrees in the j direction and this gives us 1.03 in the i direction plus 1.23 in the j direction and everything is in meters okay so we have the three vectors that we needed so we, now we can find vector d so vector d is equal to 0 0.5 in the i direction plus 0 0.69 in the i direction plus 0 0.4 in the j direction minus 1.03 in the i direction minus 1.23 the j direction and this gives us uh, 0 0.16 in the i direction minus 0 0.83 in the j direction don't forget to include the unit which is meters okay so this is vector d the second movement of beetle number two for letter a we have to find the magnitude of the vector so the magnitude of the vector is just the square root of each component squared so it would be 0 0.16 squared plus minus 0 0.83 squared as well and this gives us 0 0.84 meters so this is the answer of letter a for letter b we have to find the angle which is the tangent to the minus one of the y component of vector d over the x component of vector d which is equal to the tangent to the minus one of minus 0 0.83 over 0 0.16 and this gives us let's see it gives us two different answer answers minus 79 degrees and plus let's see plus 101 degrees if i'm not mistaken i guess that's it right degrees so we have to find which one is the correct one so this happens because when you're calculating the, the tangent of an angle there are two different directions that have exactly the same angle let's suppose that we have this vector over here and this vector over here so this vector gives this angle over here and the other vector gives us this other vector let's call it theta 2 so it, it, both vectors have the same tangent so this is the case and we have to find which one is the one that we have here so we can see that vector d points positive in the the i direction and negative in the y direction so we can see that is this angle over here which is minus 79 degrees and that's the answer of letter b